My name is Gabby and welcome or welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are going to budget both of my October paychecks. So let's go ahead and get started. So it's been a while since I have filmed a budget with me or filmed any video and that is because October so far has been crazy. I was traveling for about eight or nine days early in October. We went to California, we flew into San Francisco drove down the coast and then went to LA. Um, and then when I got back, uh, I went, I think I got back to work on October 15th, maybe. Um, it's just, it was really hard to like catch back up from work and I was so busy, so tired. I was working like a lot of hours um, and it's just been like hard to catch up. And that's why I haven't filmed. I told myself I was going to film my budget with me just a week late and I was too tired. And so here we are, I've gotten paid twice. I haven't budgeted any of my money. So we're gonna do both of them now. Um, today, my boyfriend's sister is coming in to visit with us. So I have to get this done quickly. I probably won't be able to edit it today and upload it, but I thought at least I'd get the filming done so I can squeeze some time in later today to start editing and I did also try to film like a Q3 like spending recap but it was so long it was like an hour long and I was like I'm not editing this because if it was an hour long to film it's going to take me way way longer to edit so I'm going to film it again and kind of fly through it a little bit just because I want to go over my numbers. I want to share them. It's just going to be a little delayed, <laughs> but that's okay. So as you can see here, we have $3,354.94. That is from two paychecks. My most recent paycheck was just barely over $1,600, which is way less than normal. And that is because it was taxed more than I would normally would be. Over the summer, I completed some health things and I got a $400 gift card from my, I don't know if it's from my employer or my insurance or whatever. Um, and it was finally taken, like the taxes were finally taken out of my paycheck. Like it's been like two months or maybe even longer. Um, so I didn't know it was coming. I knew that it was going to be taxed. I just didn't know when the taxes were going to reflect on my paycheck. So they finally did, but that's okay. So we do have some overspend categories, which we'll go ahead and go into right now to take care of. Um, my sister has nine cents of overspending. She sent me money for her phone bill, but I told her the wrong amount. So it's just nine cents. So we'll go ahead and cover this with ready to assign. Um, so that was my fault. Whoops. Uh, delivery we did order some pizza for delivery uh, this is like a tracking category I don't ever assign money into this I just take this from dining out so that's fine and then AT&T we got my sister and I both got new phones um, but the credit hasn't applied to our phone bill yet I did just barely get an email saying that my next phone bill will have two credits because I traded in my phone. So it would be the credit that should have applied to this phone bill and then the one for my next one. So my next phone bill will be less money. But in the meantime, I do have to cover these $30 with ready to assign. Um, so I'll go back to normal minus like the $27 a month that I'll get credited for my trade in. Now that all of my overspent has been taken care of, let's go ahead and go into November and start funding the month. All of it has to be funded since I haven't budgeted any of my paychecks. So um, $15.45.95 will go into my bill categories. I'll just go ahead and click under funded since I had to do the full amount. For my subscriptions and fees, I need 8703 to take care of everything. That's the Netflix, Apple One, and Hulu. That's Aura Ring, um, Peloton. I, this does include my New York Times subscription, which is 435, which I no longer pay for. Um, I was in a promotional 
I was doing a promotion that was four thirty five, and it went up to like twenty five dollars a month once the year ended. So I canceled it. So I'll go ahead and remove the minus. I'll adjust that target. So now I only need twenty nine fifty eight for that for my monthly subscriptions. Um, renters insurance is funded. YNAB, Amazon Prime. Divi membership and the Sapphire credit card. So we'll do 8268 for all of those categories. Perfect. Food will get $550. And this is for my groceries and all of the dining out, including treats and everything. Work lunches, everything. I never use that much, but that's how much I've been funding. I'm really starting to think about what I want my budget to look like for 2025 and I think I'm going to make some changes for my food categories but I will make a video about that getting my budget ready for 2025. So my variable expenses include entertainment, ride share, ride share also includes renting like e-bikes. I get, it, I get it discounted through my Divi membership. The, the regular bikes are free for 45 minutes and the Divi bikes are discounted. Miscellaneous and then household consumables. So we'll send $135 to cover all those targets. All right, Gabby Improvement Fund. This is always a big one. $370. Uh, so $15 to build up my bras, underwear, and socks. I might have to send more money there because it's time. <laughs> I've been saying this for a while and I'm trying to hold off as long as I can so I have more money in there, but it's really like it's things are, are rough. <laughs> um, shopping, hobbies, personal care, self-care, tennis. Okay, we got to talk about tennis. Um, and then just the bottom ones don't really have like monthly targets, so those don't really get funded. But we're sending $370 to all those categories. Tennis, I think I'm going to have to up because... So our gym charges two different... They used to charge two different prices. Non-prime hours, which were like first thing in the morning, like 6 a.m. to like 8 a.m., just times that people didn't really want to play... Um, just because it was like early for $35 an hour for court rentals or like late at night. So like 8 to 10 when they close or whatever. $35 an hour. Then during the day, it would be $50 an hour. And then for tennis lessons, um, those non-prime hours were, I think, either nine, 93 or 103. And then um, prime hours were... 139 to simplify things they've decided to make all the prices the same of course at the higher rate of $50 an hour for the court rentals and $139 for the tennis lessons which is a significant increase because like for us because we would always wake up super early get there at six in the morning and have our tennis lessons at six in the morning do our court rentals at six in the morning and we didn't mind i like waking up early so it's a big adjustment financially for me because 125 dollars really doesn't get that much at that higher rate so i really have to sit down with my boyfriend and evaluate and see how often we are going to want to play in the in the winter and how often we're going to be able to take tennis lessons now that the pricing is more so i don't know that 125 dollars a month is going to cut it anymore but we're also not going to be able to take tennis lessons every other week so i'm still going to fund the 125 our next video i might have to like throw a little more money in here we'll see i'm very upset about it because if they wanted to simplify why not simplify down but of course they won't. <laughs> they wouldn't simplify down. Of course, they'd be simplifying up. Um, but I was fine with the system the way it was. I don't mind waking up early. All right. Then we send $20 to medical. Um, and I think that's it for my like monthly targets. 
So that leaves $621 that we have to work with. Yeah, the only underfunded amount that I have in November is $2762, which is the streaming that my sister will send me next month. So that's fine. Can go back to October and start sending this money to different categories. I will send $250 to the down payment fund or you know whatever I'm calling it these days. What I have it as down payment, so that's fine. Um, yeah, these are all good. Today is the 26th. So I have to pay my electric bill and rent. Okay, I have $8.70 in monthly subscriptions, and this is from the New York Times. Since I canceled a few months ago, I forgot to adjust the target, so I'm going to go ahead and move this down to uh, YNAB in hopes of funding that a little early. Perfect. Because how much money do I need here? I need $37 by April 1st. Um, okay. This says I need $22 from dining out, but that's because I sent that to delivery. So we'll go ahead and snooze that. All right. As per usual, I think this money will, a lot of it will go to either the Gabby Improvement Fund or the Sinking Funds. So let's see. Let's go ahead and send... I have $232.69. I did buy a sweater from Old Navy, but it was on sale. So I can't imagine that'd be more than like $25 um, for my shopping category. I do need to, I'm, I'm trying to, I'm looking for a skirt. My skirts from last year do not fit anymore. The ones I wanted to buy don't work. I'm like between sizes, so that's not gonna work. I just lost some weight and it's a good thing, but like now some of my clothes just, do, it just doesn't work. I'm trying to like make it work, but I don't know. I just feel like I look a little sloppy. I love seeing Kaylee from Just Finance, like on her like health and fitness journey. I love that because I've been on one myself. I just haven't really, you know, talked about it much, but um, something my sister and I were talking about in September when she came to visit in early September for actually for my boyfriend and I is that 2025 is going to be our glow up year. I don't know. I started early <laughs> though because I started in 2024. Um, but I'm going to continue that through 2025 since I've gotten a really good start. Okay, so I'm going to send, let's start by sending 39, 39.44 to visitors. My sister's coming to spend Christmas with us, which I'm so excited about. Um, so I'll need some money for when she's here. So we'll start by doing that. I will also send $50 to Christmas. Um, let's do, f not to gifts, because I don't think... Let's see the only birthday i have coming up that i need to send money spend money on would be my nephew's gig uh, birthday gift in december and then my other nephew in january but i don't send them that much i'll probably send them like 75 dollars each so i have plenty for that mm. So I sent $15 to under things, $50 to shopping, $13 or $12.97, I think, to hobbies. Jeez, I am struggling. I really don't know what to do. 
it's hard when you don't have like a clear plan when you're not working towards something specific like for so long i was working on travel so it was just like clear that i needed to send money to travel um let's go ahead and send 279 to self-care get that to 600 um all right well i guess i have money for let's do another 50 for visitors i'll be glad to have funded this when she comes I, although i told her that we didn't have to spend a lot of money because she'll be here for like a like a good amount of time and we just can't be eating out every day <laughs> so i think if i sent, save another hundred dollars for christmas that should be good enough all right all right let's do hobbies hobbies i've been I'm just into a new hobby and obviously that's very expensive always is I might have to buy a new like new jackets for for this year because the one that I used last fall and for a good portion of winter is too big now um so I think sending some extra money to shopping is good and then the last forty dollars will you will go ahead and so just topping off a few of my categories bringing them to nice numbers we'll just go ahead and send the 622 to holding just because i don't know what to do with them and that is it for now i have one last trip for the year we're going to buffalo to spend thanksgiving with my boyfriend's mom uh, we're literally just going for thanksgiving weekend so i think we fly out wednesday night after work and then fly back Sunday morning at some point um, and that's it and then when we're home for the year that should be a very cheap trip because there's really not that much to do in Buffalo um I will just be hanging out with her it'll be a really low key so I don't expect to spend very much um and then we got to start planning our trip to to florida to spend some time with my dad and meet him there so i think i need to come up with what i really want to do with my money how i want to focus it so that i'm not like ooh, like all over the place trying to figure out what to do with it travel is obviously always a big expense for me so that could be one um or starting to fund my 2025 roth because i want to get that maxed out as early as possible next year uh last year or i guess this year um i maxed it out by my second paycheck in march which out of the it was a three paycheck month and i maxed it out by my second paycheck in march so that was pretty good um so doing something similar next this next year would be good earlier would be better though so i guess we'll see but thanks so much for joining me in today's video I will try to get this up as soon as possible and I'm gonna try and film on the spending recap for Q3 just because I like to take a look at my numbers and I think it's interesting to see the spending over a quarter and I haven't like put up a spending recap in a very long time so yeah thanks for joining me in today's video if you haven't done so already make sure you give this video a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe bye